natural history is one of the largest scientific and natural history museums in the world. It's like it's located in the very center of the city, 150 meters from the Tatana metro station. You must have at least two hours of time to visit. The visit will be interesting not only for children but also for adults. The museum was created in 1966 as a single expositional territorial complex comprising the biological, paleontological, zoological, botanical and archaeological museums. The museum is located in an old house with expressive original architecture. On an area of 8,000 square meters and 24 halls, over 30,000 exhibits have been collected to tell about the origin, structure and evolution of the Earth, its flora and fauna, about its past and present, about the history of the material culture of tribes and peoples inhabited in the air of the grave. The center place in museums is occupied by a complex of dialogues, 30 landscape expositions and
Small tips for visiting. Begin visiting the museum from the archaeological department, which is located on the basement floor. When you go down, turn right, you will see a long corridor, and the end of which, again on the right, you can find a big hole. There you can find two picturesque panoramas of Kiesrus. The first floor is occupied by mineralogy and paleontology. The second and third floors are dedicated to the animals' world. For me, my favorite is the third floor, because there are over 20 diagrams describing the inhabitant of animals in different climatic zones. The fourth floor is for botany lovers. Usually there are fewer people, because most of them have not enough energy to visit this floor. Therefore, if you are a plant lover, I recommend to start your visit from this floor and then go downstairs. Before visiting the museum you must not be tired and must be full of energy, because power and energy you really need here. Good luck.